Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1983 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the Boston Red Sox at Fenway Park. On the mound for the Tigers today is Brian Kelly, whose record is 3-0 with a 4.46 ERA. And pitching for the Red Sox today is John Tudor, whose record is 8-3 with a 4.78 ERA. So we got off the schneid. We broke the uh, seven-game losing streak yesterday, winning 6-1 to one over the Red Sox. Uh, Alan Trammell had his ninth home run on the season, and Tom Filer, uh, of all people, uh, was the, the pitcher that broke the streak. He uh, pitched good enough to get the win, giving up one run in uh, five and a third innings, and the bullpen bailed him out uh, in that uh, sixth inning. And we hung on, got the victory, and we had to game two of the three-game series. Uh, we do have four new baseball cards uh, to show for today's game. Uh, we'll do that once we get into the lineups here. So let's get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along, like, and or subscribe to the channel. Uh, Brian Kelly on the mound. Uh, he is—he has no history against the Red Sox. I find that hard to believe. And all of the bullpen is available for today's game. And here is today's lineup. Uh, Lou Whitaker listed as tired, so we took him out of the game. Even though Tudor is a lefty, we, we usually like to have Whitaker in there versus lefties, but this is a good reason to give him a break today. So... Uh, Doug Baker will be in there at second base. So here are the new baseball cards that uh, Jeremy DeYoung created for uh, our game here. We have uh, Mickey Hatcher in the 1983 Topps card. And um, you'll, it'll be a little easier to see when you um, take a look at the defensive uh, um, alignment. But there is the uh, Mickey Hatcher card. Great job. That looks fantastic. He also did one for Eddie Miller, who is in today's lineup out in center field. There is Eddie Miller. Of course, Eddie Miller and Mickey Hatcher never played for Detroit. So this is, you know, his way of creating um, a Tigers cap form. Looks great. Good job by him. Also, he did Greg Brock. So Greg Brock now officially has a uh, Detroit Tigers baseball card. And finally, he also did one for Terry Kennedy. And look, it looks like he's in a Detroit Tigers uniform. Great job by Jeremy putting those cards together. There's more coming. He's working on um, more cards and also doing variations on the cards, including like a um, Brock Ness Monster uh, baseball card that says Brock Ness Monster on here. And again, I, I don't know if I mentioned this uh yet or not but uh, i'm going to create we're going to actually create our own baseball cards physical baseball cards and uh the brock nest monster one will be a variation uh perhaps a one of one uh that we can give out to uh the viewers so um so yeah more to come with uh the uh sports cards from uh, jeremy de young maybe even some more this evening so uh, let's go ahead and do the Tigers' official lineup rundown. We'll get this game going. Batting leadoff, playing left field today is Ricky Henderson. Batting second in right field is Glenn Wilson. Batting third at first base is Eddie Murray. Batting cleanup, playing third base is Mickey Hatcher. Batting fifth and catching is Lance Parrish. Batting 6th and DHing is Kevin Bass. Batting 7th, playing shortstop is Alan Trammell. Batting 8th, playing 2nd base is Doug Baker. And batting ninth in center field is Eddie Miller. Lefty John Tudor on the mound. He's 8-3 with a 478 ERA, making his 15th start of the season. 92 and a third innings pitched, and he struck out 57 batters. Opponents are batting 297 against him. He does have one complete game this year. Uh, he has a fastball that tops out at 88 miles an hour, and that is his best pitch. It's 
rated an 89. He's also got a slider that's above average and two other secondary pitches. Overall rated 89. He's 29 years old, and the lefty is going to arbitration uh, this season. Has he faced Detroit? I'm sure he has. Yeah, he had a last start versus Detroit in which he got a no decision, giving up 11 hits and 7 runs. And then his first start of the season was against Detroit where he took a loss, uh, only making it through four innings. So, Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the defense for the Red Sox today. Uh, same as yesterday, Gold Glover's at second base and center field. And we've got Ricky Henderson leading off the struggling left fielder, giving him a shot to lead off the ball game, and he walks. Okay, we're going to hit and run. This is why I put uh, Glenn Wilson in the second spot today. He hits and runs pretty well. Um, and I don't trust Henderson stealing against uh, Dennis Littlejohn. So we're going to hit and run. Ground ball up the middle. The shortstop of Smalley makes the play. Henderson advances, and there's one out. Next up, Eddie Murray. Murray's got a home run in his career against John Tudor. Fly ball to shallow right field. Uh, we are not going to run on Calderon in this situation. We're going to give Sticky Mickey a chance here to uh, drive in the first run of the ball game. All fastballs, by the way, to Murray. Oh, no, there's a slider. I didn't even see that. Started him off with the slow stuff and went to the heat. Hatcher, line drive into left field, and it falls in in front of Jim Rice. A run scores. And we're going to hold Hatcher to a single. So an RBI single from Hatcher gives the Tigers the lead. Here is uh, Lance Parrish, kind of on a good stretch for him. Popping it up, and is that going to fall in? Behind the shortstop, it does! A little duck snort into left center field. And Hatcher advances to third. So the Tigers have a little rally going here with two down. And Kevin Bass at the plate. Bass really struggling versus left-handers. We're giving him the start at DH today over uh, Hojo. And that was a bad idea. As he strikes out looking to end the inning. We go to the bottom of the first here is the Red Sox lineup for today's game. Batting leadoff and catching is Dennis Littlejohn. Batting second, playing second base is Marty Barrett. Batting third, at third base is Wade Boggs. Batting cleanup, playing first base is Pat Dodson. Batting fifth in right field is Yvonne Calderon. Batting sixth in left field is Jim Rice. Batting 7th and DHing is Clint Hurdle. Batting 8th, playing center field is Freddie Lynn. And batting ninth, playing shortstop is Roy Smalley. Okay, uh, Brian Kelly coming off one of the worst starts by any Tigers pitcher this year. You see he is still 3-0 with a 4.46 ERA. Opponents are batting 231 against him. He was having such a good year with control, and then his last start, he walked eight. Walked eight, struck out one, and still took a no decision uh, in that ball game. Tigers' bats were crushing it that game, and yet we ended up losing late uh, on a blown save. So um, his control is rated a 70, pretty low, below average. Average being 80, and uh, that might be the one thing that keeps him from being a steady, uh, a steady uh, pitcher in our rotation. So let's take a look at the Tigers' defense. As you can see there, we have Gold Glovers at first base and in the left field with Whitaker out for today's game. Here's Dennis Littlejohn leading off against Brian Kelly. And a base hit to left field that falls in in front of or Ricky Henderson. Leadoff man is on. Here's Marty Barrett. Uh, as, as you see here that a little John Speed rated an 84 as Barrett pops up. James K mentioned in uh, the comments from yesterday that little John had one career stolen base. 
He did have 27 in the minor, in the minor leagues, but uh, 84 speed, probably not accurate. Wade Boggs, line drive to center field, and Eddie Miller makes the catch. Didn't have to go far to snag that one. Two down for Pat Dodson, and Dodson strikes out. So a nice first inning from Brian Kelly. Strand the leadoff, man. We go to the top of the second with Trammell, Baker, and Miller due up. Here's Tram. Had the home run yesterday. Here he grounds out to short. One down. Doug Baker's average still over 300. Been a nice surprise. There's a line drive to right. And it looked like it was going to get over the head of Calderon. Instead, it was a relatively easy play. So two outs for Eddie Miller. And Miller gets a base hit to left. We are sending Miller in this situation. Two down, runner on first, great speed. Great arm, best arm in, in the American League for sure. So, 71% um, chance. Miller had 32 stolen bases for Detroit last year. And he steals second base. So that is stolen base number one for Eddie Miller. And a chance here for Ricky to do something good. Base hit into left field. That'll score Miller. Do we want to go for two? We do not. Okay, good job by Henderson. Maybe that'll break him out of his uh, recent slump. 2 nothing Detroit. Hey, it's... Well, no, no we're not going to hit and run with two down. We are going to let Wilson swing. Ricky's like, you let him steal, why don't you let me steal? Well, I'm not sure how much I uh, trust Ricky in these situations. Wilson pops out, and that'll do it for the top half of the second so it's two nothing as we head to the bottom half it's Calderon Rice and Hurdle Calderon flips it to left there's a base hit Henderson gets it in quickly and Calderon could be on the move here Parrish despite not having a great offensive year uh, has been excellent behind the plate so I don't worry too much if Calderon wants to go here as a base hit to left, so the first two uh, base runners are on. We are going to play back and hope for a double play. We'll give up that run if we can turn two here. And a line drive to center. Is that going to fall in? It does fall in for a hit. So the first three batters of the inning have had uh, consecutive singles. And it's two to one. And uh, now I do feel like we're in a little bit of a pressure situation here. We need a quick out. There we go, that ought to get it done as Lynn pops it up on the infield. Baker makes the catch. We'll pull the outfield in now for Roy Smalley. Now Smalley's got seven home runs. So he's certainly more than capable of going deep or hitting it over the outfielder's heads. But we do want to prevent a base hit from tying the ball game. He flips it into left. That should be an easy out for Henderson. Rice holds. And now we will play straight away with Dennis Littlejohn. 0-2 oh, count. Striking him out. Okay, so... We limit the damage to one run. We head to the top of the third. Tigers are up two to one. We have Eddie Murray leading off against John Tudor. Tudor up to 48 pitches as Murray weakly hits a ground ball to Barrett. One out, here's Mickey Hatcher, his new baseball card. Giving him some extra oomph today as he flies out to right. Two quick outs for Tudor. He's going to bring up Lance Parrish. He's one for one today, and he strikes out swinging. So a one, two, three inning. We head to the bottom half of the third with Marty Barrett leading off against Brian Kelly. Barrett goes oppo. 
fly ball to right. Play is made by Glenn Wilson. One down. Boggs walks. Okay, so there's the first walk for Brian Kelly today. Boggs really worked him over. What is that? Nine, nine pitch at bat. All right, here is the cleanup hitter, Pat Dodson. Potential rookie of the year candidate, even though he's betting 213, and he grounds into a double play. A nice job by Kelly turning and firing to second. And uh, Baker uh, pivoting to first. So, yeah, that's, that's an unusual double play uh, between players who don't typically play together. Okay, um, that's, that's what you call PFP right there, pitcher's fielding practice. Pay it off. Kevin Bass leading off top of the fourth with a ground ball to first. Dodson stepping on the bag. One out. Trammell goes to right field. 300 feet. So got some good wood on it, but it was caught. That's five straight outs for Tudor. And then Baker with a base hit in the center field. Nicely done. Doug Baker. Again, like some of our... It's kind of disappointing when players like Parrish or Bass even um, struggle. Or like Murray did last year. And then you have guys like Baker and Miller stepping in and absolutely crushing it. There's a ground ball. Sharply hit to second. And Barrett makes the play. So we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Tigers maintain a one-run lead. Yvonne Calderon leading off. Slices it to right field. Almost to the warning track when Wilson tracked it down. One out. Here's Jimmy Rice. Ground ball to Baker. Smooth. He's smooth over there at second. And Clint Hurdle, sharp ground ball to third. So nicely done for Brian Kelly. I'd like to get one or two more innings out of him. As long as he can handle the lefties. Keeps his control together. We head to the top of the fifth. Here's Ricky Henderson leading off. Henderson has a hit today in an RBI. Striking out, swinging. Three Ks for Tudor. Pitch count up to 73. Tigers need to keep working them over here. Wilson for ground ball to second. And here is Eddie Murray. And Murray walks again. I believe he's walked both times, both walks by Tudor. So runner on first. And great job by Murray, keeping the pitch count going. So two down, runners on first. This is a uh, swing, swing away situation for Hatcher. And he took a good cut at it. 3-1, that was kind of high. Out of the zone. And he was trying to do something with it. And he pops out to short. So we're going to the bottom of the fifth inning. Now this is where Brian Kelly typically... Uh, poops the pitcher mound. Let's see if we can get through this. It's going to be tough with uh, Fred Lynn leading off. Okay, there we go. Popping it up on the infield. Murray's calling for it. Actually, that probably would have been a better play for Baker to make. I'm not sure who technically called it, uh, caught it. But we'll just say it's Murray. One down. And then Smalley smokes it all the way to the Green Monster for a double. That is the tying run on second. Smalley's 17th double on the season. We might not even get a batter to 17 doubles total. All right. So here's the catcher, Dennis Littlejohn. We're back to the top of the lineup. Um, yeah, we are going to pull the outfield in. Right, prevents Smalley from scoring on a base hit. And there's an infield single, so it doesn't matter. We have to pull the infield in against Marty Barrett. This could be Brian Kelly's last batter, to be honest. Infield in. 
Marty Baird at the plate. He has good bat control. Batting 325 with 10 home runs. Popping it up on the infield. And now I've got to make a decision. Do I let Brian Kelly pitch to one of the best hitters in the game? Wade Boggs. He's 0 for 1 with a walk today. I would actually feel better about intentionally walking Boggs to get to Dodson, who's a much uh, more predictable hitter. All right. Um, we are going to pull the outfield in again. So there's no bloop singles. And we are going to see what happens. Brian Kelly going after Wade Boggs. 2-2 two -two count. Striking him out. Nice. Wow. Okay. I have a uh, drinking some rum and coke right now. Some pineapple rum. We're going to have a little sip here. Okay. Yeah, that's good stuff. Whew. All right. Um, sixth inning. Top of the sixth. John Tudor, 86 pitches. And Parrish at the plate. Let's have Parrish 86 him right here. Base hit into center field. There we go. A leadoff single for Parrish. He is breaking out of his uh, season-long slump. I'll take a quick look at his log. Yeah, he had, um, well, he's on a six-game hitting streak now, but he had these back-to-back -back games where he almost hit for the cycle. He just needed a single against Boston on the 11th, and then he just needed the triple on the uh, 13th. So uh, he's got two hits today, so he is on fire right now. Let's hit and run. Runner on first, nobody out. Good contact hitter. Stay out of the double play. Ground ball to third. That'll get Parrish over Runner on second. Here's Trammell. Trammell surprisingly struggles versus lefties this season. And it looks like directly with John Tudor, two for 18. He does have a home run. Uh, ground ball to short. Parrish will hold. And that'll leave it up to Doug Baker to come through. D Baker's got a single today. Batting 364 versus left-handers. And a pass ball moves Parrish up. 90 feet. And Baker's got a 1-0 count. Let's see if he can uh, do something with that advantage. Fly ball to the left center field. Come on, fall in. No, oh, it's going to carry deep enough for the gold lover, Freddie Lynn, to get over there and make the catch. Okay, a lot of zeros on the board since the second inning. Now... Jim Rice will absolutely, no matter what, be the last batter uh, that Kelly will face today. But we're going to let him try to go after Dodson. He's already struck him out once. Full count, and he walks him. Okay, so this feels bad at the moment. We're going to let him go after uh, Calderon. We're going to play straight away. We can get a double play with Dodson. It's going to be tough with uh, Calderon. He's got a 90 speed. Coming back with a strikeout. Nice. One down. Here's Jim Rice. Jim Rice having a fantastic season. The Hall of Famer goes to right for a base hit. Just slaps it beyond Baker. And that's going to be it for Brian Kelly. We are going right to Capuzello, kind of <laughs> the only left-hander I really trust at the moment. Um, he pitched in yesterday's game, did a good job. He's had many good performances in a row, and having another All-Star season. Remember, he was our only—he was—he was the only All-Star reliever in yet last year's uh, All-Star game, and uh, he's angling to make it this year. Okay, so here is uh, George Capazello facing Clint Hurdle, playing straight away still. Clint Hurdle batting 137 versus lefties. Oh, no, he flips it to left. Will Dodson score? Oh, he does. And the game is tied. So there goes the victory for uh, Brian Kelly 
And the Tigers are on the verge of losing the lead here. Wow, I gave Capozello all those accolades, and then um, he gives up a base hit to a guy batting 137. Infield is in. We have to pull it in here. And, uh, yeah, okay, here we go. Freddie Lynn hits lefties well, and a base hit. Wow. Capozello, I think this is considered a blown save, right? Um... Well, shoot. Ground ball to second and a double fold. So, Red Sox take the lead from the Tigers. It's three to two, headed to the seventh inning. Uh, it's so disappointed for Brian Kelly, who actually pitched well. And, uh, you know, another uh, no decision for a Tigers starter. Miller strikes out. Tudor on the verge of hitting the century mark for pitches. Oh, come on. Now Tudor's unstoppable. Back-to-back -back Hayes and Wilson pops out. That's pathetic. That's exactly what a pitcher should do, though. You know, they come through in that situation. Um... Oh, actually, none of those runs uh, are tacked on to Capazella. Those are both for Kelly. That's too bad. Um, okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot what I was doing there. We're going to skip over uh, Roy Thomas. We're going to go right to Dave Smith, who uh, had a terrible outing his last time. Actually, two terrible outings in a row, taking back-to-back -back losses. And this is the guy that wants to be our closer, but... Uh, not getting it done as of late. Here's Dennis Littlejohn leading off the bottom of the seventh with a base hit. Ten hits for the Sox. Runner on first. Here's Marty Barrett. Dennis Littlejohn. <laughs> no stolen bases. That's just dumb. That's his first caught stealing on the year. Oops. There we go. Um, all right. Next up, Marty. Oh, yeah. So it's 0-1 count to Marty Barrett. One down. And a base hit up the middle. Just squeaks past Trammell. What we can, right now, we cannot buy an out. Wade Boggs up next. It's a stolen base from Barrett. The sixth of the season for him. And now we will intentionally walk Boggs to get to Dodson. Set up a double play here. Dodson batting only 238 versus righties. Oh no, pounding in the dirt, it's in an error. Oh no! Actually, Parrish fields it cleanly. Well, not a double play, but uh, runners do advance into scoring position. So Calderon has a chance here to put the game away with a base hit. Two down. Smith going to go after him here. And a base hit to go. That's the ball game. Son of a bitch. Well, the bullpen. What is happening with our bullpen right now? Everything that we had going well has come uh, apart here at the seams. That's so frustrating. All right. Well, they get three here in the seventh inning and take a 6-2 to two lead into the eighth. John Tudor just cruising along since the second inning. I'm sure they'll give us one or two more runs here before long. Tudor tired, but that's not making a difference. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Lynn popping out. Smalley striking out, swinging. 
And we're not going to bring in a right-hander here just for one more out. There we go. Good job by Comstock. Too little, too late. They're going to leave Tudor in there to try to get the complete game. Uh, in a sense, I guess he deserves it. He only gave up six hits today. Uh, we are not going to let Bass bat. He has shown nothing today. Oh, oh, Johnson was the guy I probably should have put in there. He does not hit lefties well either. And he pops up. There's out number one. Then there's Trammell who doesn't hit lefties well for whatever reason. Makes no sense. Flips it to right. The Tigers are down to their final out. It's Doug Baker. He has one of the six Tigers hits today. Popping it up. Well, that was a disappointing game. Another game where we could not hold the lead. Tigers lose 6-2. to two. Now, I, I did mention this in a prior game. And I thought about it afterwards uh, when I was editing. But you'll see here, we're, we're at the 20 game over mark. And we were up to 28 games over at one point, right? And I said in one of the games in the, uh, in the losing streak, I bet they will stop us when we get to 20 games over. And that's what they did uh, when we won the game that broke the streak yesterday. So I think this is like the threshold for the game is right around 20 is the maximum that they'll give you. And maybe at this point of the season, like I feel like that's built into the game. Now, if you have played this game and you've ever won a division by being 20 games or more over, you know, over, I mean, I'd like to know. Like, it, that can't happen too often, you know, in mogul mode. Um, so I, I'd be curious to find out if anyone ha has uh, done that. So anyway, I'm talking, but we're not moving here. Um, yeah, we took a loss. Uh, good news is uh, New York lost as well. So we're five and a half up. National League. Uh, well, New York's winning. Won three in a row. The Cubbies have lost five. The Dodgers have lost nine in a row. They had lost seven just like we had. And they continue to lose as San Diego jumps into second place. Just four games back. Okay, let's take a look at headline news. Brainiac Baseball, Daily Beat, nothing. James took another day off. Got his feet up on the desk, eating some donuts from the uh, <laughs> from the break room. Uh, okay, transactions. Um, only uh, Bob James, the reliever for Montreal, uh, is going to be out for two months. He is their closer, and uh, that'll do it for him. So, okay, let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe, please. We'll have more baseball cards. And uh, player of the game. Uh, really, nobody deserved it, but Lance Parrish, he got two hits. Um, Henderson did score a run and drove in a run. Do we go with Henderson over Parrish? Uh, I guess we will go with Henderson over Parrish. Brian Kelly takes the loss. Uh, Cappy could not handle his business, his biznatch. Um, Dave Smith was horrible. And that's three outings in a row where he's given up a total of 10 runs. And Keith Comstock takes, uh, does his job. So um, John Tudor gets the win. We're going to come back tomorrow with game three of the three-game series. Until then, everyone, have a great night.